everybody. Whoa, turning it down. Last episode kind of ended weird. <coughs> I didn't see the time sneak up on me. So, I just wanted this thing to go away. To leave me alone. What did it want? Uh, welcome back to It Moves. <gasps> it moved! Oh my god! <laughs> when something unmistakably chilling transpired, it moved. It moved in a way differently from before. <sighs> when it threw itself around the round in the bottom bunk, it seemed unrestrained, without purpose, almost animalistic. Animalistics have animals have no purpose? What? For that thing laying there in the darkness. That thing which seemed intent on terrorizing a young boy. Calmly and nonchalantly sat up. Its labored breathing became louder. Oh my god. Now only a mattress and a few flimsy wooden stalks separated my bottom from the un, un, <laughs> unearthly breathing below. Ooh. Uh, like, I lay there, my eyes filled with tears, a tear which mere words cannot relate to you or anyone else, cursed through my veins. I would not have been, I w would not have believed that this fear could have been heightened, but I was so wrong. I imagined what this thing would look like, sitting there, listening from below, below my mattress, <laughs> hoping to catch the sight, slight, hoping to catch the slightest hint that I was awake. Imagination then turned into unnerving reality. It began to touch the wooden slats which my mattress sat on. It seemed to caress them carefully, running what I imagined to be fingers and hands across the surface of the wood. Then, with a great force, it, <laughs> it, it prodded angrily between the slats into my mattress. Even through the padding, it felt as though someone had viciously stuck their fingers into my side. Oh. I let out an almighty cry and then a wheezing shaking. And moving and moving thing in and moving thing in the bottom bunk below replied in kind of kind by violently vibrating the bunk as it had done the night before. Small flakes of paint powdered into my bunk from the wall. As the frame of my bed scraped along it, backwards and forwards. Kind of looks more like side to side, but okay. Once again, I was bathed in light. There stood my mother, loving, caring, as she always was. With a comforting hug and calming words, which eventually... Stubbined my him whatever <laughs> words. <laughs> of course, she asked what was wrong, but I could not say. I dared not say. I simply said one word over and over and over again. Nightmare. 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 Ooh. Oh. Pull this down lower just in case. This pattern of events continued for weeks, if not months. Night after night, I would awaken to the sound of rustling sheets. Each time I would scream so as not to provide this abomination with time to prod and feel for me. 
With each cry, the bed would shake violently. Stopping with the approval of my mom, stopping with the arrival of my mother, who would spend the rest of the night in the bottom bunk, seemingly unaware of the sinister force torturing her son nightly. Along the way, I managed to to fang the Ill illnesses a few times and come up with other less than truthful reasons for sleeping in my parents' bed. But more often than not, I would be alone for the first few hours of each night in that place, in the room where the lights outside did not sit right, alone with that thing. With time, you can become desensitized to almost anything, no matter how horrific. I had to come to the realization that, for whatever reason, this thing could not harm me when my mother was present. I am sure the same would have been said for my father, but as loving as he was, walking him from sleep was <laughs> waking him from sleep was almost impossible. Waking me, on the other hand, was no trouble at all, thanks to nightmares. <sighs> Ah, chapter four, Anger Overload. Let's do it. Oh, yes, I would like to save. Okay, there's a shit ton of slots. So we're going to leave in slot four. Okay, I need to turn that down. I guess it's raining outside. Thunderstorm, possibly. That's some religious man, I guess. Cool. The hook hangs in the wall if he's okay. Cool. What the flop with an earthquake? No, it's a thunderstorm. Okay, let's try this door. Oh, is this a puzzle? Oh, it's rainbow lights this time. Okay, I wanna I wanna look at this window. I think that's a scene from the Bible. Okay, so we're in a cathedral or a church. That's good to know. Uh boarded up door. Hopefully I could go through it. I could go through it. Oh, bottled body <laughs> bottled body parts. My favorite. Another one. Great. Something tells me this is either a monster or the lightning striking the ground. Hey, <laughs> big pool, but I'd rather... Yeah, I'd rather not use it either. Its eye's gonna open as soon as I leave the screen. Okay. Woo! Anything interesting? Oh, just, you know, dead cats? Are those cats? Did they hang kittens? Oh. Great. You know, just trapped in a basement. Um... Oh, no, 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 Oh, my God, it's giant baby faces. Hi. Can I talk to this one? He has a mustache. No. Oh, no, 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 
No. 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 No, 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 no. Is there something I'm supposed to be doing? I do not like that last one. Bitch. Bring it. Oh, God. I can't go beyond this point. Oh, they're not doing anything. Oh, this last one. I don't like that last one. They're no longer closing their mouths. It's kind of, kind of disturbing. Uh-uh. No. No. Shut up! I don't need no babies crying. This is... No. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. Ah! Stop crying, baby! That one's face is melted off. The one back there has a mustache. This one's cracked. Oh my god! It's babies! <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, let's talk to the baby. Hello, baby. Yeah. Well. I just got murdered by a child. This is not gonna show well. Oh, ah. There we go. Safe spot. My greatest fears were realized in that winter. The days grew short and then longer nights. Merrily provided the wreck with more opportunities. It was difficult time for it was a difficult time for my family. My grandmother, a wonderful, kind, and gentle woman, had silence and the death. My father was trying her. My mother, father, <laughs> my mother, father. <laughs> My mother was trying her best to keep in the lines possible. However, the oh, none of us it became clear that she would. A few nights, and my mother decided that she would stay with her. As much as I loved my grandmother and I felt nothing her illness, to this day I felt guilty for my first thoughts were not of her. Oh my god. Mother's presence became one thing which I was sure was protecting me from the full horror of this thing's reach. He's not in here. Go. People. <laughs> I rushed home from school that day and immediately wrecked the bed sheets and mattress from the lower bunk, removing all the slates and old desk and chest and drawers. Cover from the bottom one for years. My father, I was making an office, which she found adorable. But I would be demanded that I'd give that thing a place to sleep for one more night. As darkness approached, I laid there knowing my mother was not in the house. <clears throat> I did not know what to do. My only impulse was to sneak into her jewelry box and take a small family crucifix. Oh, which I had seen there before. While my family 